What's going on, Grind State? It's Euro Dust checking in with Grind State one time, two time, three time. I'm right here, man. How y'all doing? Yes, sir. Confirmed by Euro Dust. Eyes on you right now, man. Why you feel like a lot of eyes be on you? Cause Euro doing what he does, man. Like, um, no, just bullshit. No, like. Good. It, I feel. I don't even feel like it's a lot of eyes on me. I feel like a lot of people who knew who I was and am, they're mm -hmm. starting to put some respect on my craft and what I do at this point. I don't I think it's the same amount of eyes on me. Um, I'm actually trying to go, go, go on these folks, you know what I mean? At that point, I feel like it's some eyes, but you know, I'm working hard, I'm making shit, people are seeing it, you know what I mean? They see me when they don't, so, mm. you know? Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. So you say, you say you came a long way. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like I came a long way, man. Like every day, I came a long way. You know what I mean? Like it, like every, you know, my my main thing. I'm trying to move forward with everything. So mm -hmm. day day by day, I'm, you mm -hmm. know, you know what I mean. I, I definitely gonna feel like I came a long way. But generally speaking, for you know, like the pieces that I make and the people that I work with, is is ever proceeding and excelling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that's bad. That's bad. Bad. It, what does exactly Euro do for the people that don't know? Like what? What does Euro do? Um, Euro, to be very honest and frank, Euro does what he wants. Yeah. Like everything that Euro does is what Euro does. Literally, when you see the brand name that represents me and the things that I create, and more than likely the things that I create come off the strength of just me wanting to have them in this universe. Mm. Um, so whether that's artwork for your favorite artist. Um, like if it's commissioned or you know like Louis Vuitton lighter holders um, like and I guess that's more so what you're speaking of now mm -hmm. um, Euro does a lot you know generally the art direction and creative direction but I guess mentioning to the eyes being on me now I believe that it's a lot of eyes on me now that I'm you know traveling buying these Louis Vuitton and Gucci and Goyard bags cutting them up making you know custom designer accessories mm -hmm. so I feel like you know more than anything, that that has excelled my career, but that's only like a, a the beginning. It, you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's just only a part of my career. Yeah. Yep. All right. So let's go to the beginning. Where um, where are you from? Like where am I from? So from? like I was born in Atlanta, like uh -huh. Northside Hospital, um, College Park. You know what I'm saying? That's where I stayed at Southside. But I used to live in Europe too. Like I represented the United States as a student design ambassador. So pretty much I was getting like high school credit like around uh, like 2007, 2008 mm -hmm. um, to pretty much tour Europe, see everything that you may have heard of, Leaning Tower, Pisa, Eiffel Tower, Buckingham mm -hmm. Palace, you know, whatever you can name. Um, but yeah. So you was over there as a student? Yeah, pretty Some much. Some kind of award, academic award, scholarship? Yeah, like so like pretty much, yeah, I had good grades <clears throat> in school, you know what I mean? <clears throat> <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, a lot of people, lot of people don't know that. I had great grades in school. They I had, see you like that. I know, oh yeah, because yeah, people probably yeah. think it's got me smoking weed, doing whatever I want. I never talk about school. But yeah, I had great grades in school. When I did go to high school, I went to a different high school for the International Baccalaureate Program, IB program too. And you know what I mean? I can, I can leave from shooting <laughs> dice in somebody's truck where they selling dope, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then literally walk out and then go have a meeting with whoever signed these contracts. For real, uh, and I'm blessed by God, thank you, Lord, to be able to switch it up like that. You know what I mean? I'm good in every corner, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. uh, and, and I really feel like, you know, all my life, you know, travels and experiences, you know what I mean? They shape me into, you know, to be able to do stuff like that. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Sure. But yeah, I love the, I ain't gonna say I love the streets, but you know what I'm saying? The streets are cool. Yeah. The streets are cool. The streets are cool if you don't know. Money, yeah. If you don't know, it's a lot of money in the street. It's a lot of money in the fucking streets. If you don't know, that's a lot of money in, 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 in the corporate world too, but being able to finesse both of them is. Mm -hmm. What's your main product that you sell right now? Right now, of course, like the, the, the Louis Vuitton light holder. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, any light holder. For instance, mm -hmm. like any particular light holder, as we know, it's lots of smokers, you know what I mean? Everybody's buying, you know, trying to get their drip right and shit. But I sell, um, yeah, the Louis, Louis Vuitton lighter holder is probably going to be the number one seller right now. So, what inspired you to start making, start working with leather, start coming up with leather? Um, to even just work with leather in general, 
Yeah. Because, yeah, I was working with leather before I started working with Louis Vuitton and designer shit. So what were you doing? Um, I was actually working on my, it was crazy, I was actually working on my own personal leather company. Like, I was, before I was working with Louis Vuitton shit, my idea was to be Louis Vuitton Gucci and shit. Mm -hmm. So I started working, like, sourcing my own leathers, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, blank leathers, you know? Like, different fabrics, different materials and stuff, and I started making various products, and pro you know, had my little projects. Um, so w once I started doing that, I got pretty good, made a couple car holders and actually what what even made me want to do that i wanted to go yard car holder that's what it really was i wanted to go yard car holder however if you guys don't know this is an insider tip you'll be, be able to get if you don't know like go yard doesn't sell anything online at all um they don't show their prices online in order to shop with go yard you literally have to you know go visit one of their stores in person and at this particular time i didn't know all this well actually i found out through doing my research um, at the time, but I wasn't able to go buy that car holder. But through doing my research, I found out that, hey, Goyard, they started off making all their products 100% handmade, like everything. The trunks, the everything. Like, and really, the trunks were their main product back in the day. But once I found out that it was handmade, I was like, all right, if they can make a cool little wallet, I'm Euro Dutch. Like, you know, I always got A's on all my projects in school. Like, anytime you got to make something, you know, I can make it. So, like, let me see if I can make a car holder. So I started working with the leathers. And then um, just one day I was working on a, a project and I had one of my Louis Vuitton duffel bags, just personal one, sitting next to the floor, sit, sitting next to me on the floor, and I, I spilled some white paint on it. And it was like a big blob splash type shit where I wasn't able to use the bag, you know, re really rock the bag and drip like I wanted. So at that point I was actually making a lighter holder with regular leather mm -hmm. when I was doing that. Yeah. So once I seen my bag you know, kind of tarnished or whatever, I was like, geez, uh, what if I make this with this? Right. And then that's how you pretty much got here. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely did. I've been getting money since. I, I was, I've been getting money for a long time. Like, even when I had jobs, well, the jobs funded me getting money on my own, too. Like, like, me doing the leather things I do now isn't my first venture in, you know, being an entrepreneur or sales or, you know, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Like, when I when I was in high school, I worked at Zaxby's for a couple of years. I worked at a U-Haul. I worked at fucking Finish Line. Then I worked at Brandsmart. And then I worked at CarMax. I only had five jobs. I worked at all five of those spots. And luckily, these are all places that you know when I say their name. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And, um, like, I worked at those five spots. And, you know, through all of those, you know, I learned a little, you know. I, and what's ironic is all of those jobs, I set them in order from how I got them, but they, they all led to each other. Like, I mm -hmm. met the managers at the job before. So when I was at Zaxby's, I met the manager for U-Haul. When I was at U-Haul, I met who I was going to be working with at Finish Line. And so on. It always happened like that. And they would just take me from one job to another. But make a long story short, though, um, even, even beyond that, when I was actually working um, for people, like I was selling in middle school, selling candy. I was that guy. You know what I mean? My mom. Selling snacks. Yeah, selling snacks. My mom, dudes, already had, you know, like the Sam's Club membership. So we go in there on the week by week basis anyway. I got my little change. Let me go get me a little pack of Skittles for, you know me, fourteen dollars. Come with like thirty six in there. Mm -hmm. Double up, sell them for a dollar, some. You know what I mean? So I was doing that in middle school, and then, at the beginning of high school, I had like a clothing brand that was like, it wasn't even thought through, but I was making shirts and people was buying them though. Mm -hmm. it, they was buying them shirts. Sure. Yeah, they were buying them. They were buying them, mm -hmm. but it wasn't. It had any longevity. So then I went and started something that did was gonna have some longevity. And like when I by the time I was like 16, like with that particular brand, I was selling it in Linux and Perimeter, like in Atlanta, Georgia. Like in the middle of the mall? Not in the middle of the mall, like in the store. Okay. Like one of the stores, like boutiques yeah. in, the, in like stores in. Oh, they had your shit. Yeah, you know how like you know how like Pure is in Linux. Uh huh. How they have a store and they have whatever they have in there. Yeah. Yeah. So you was like. Yes, sir. Yourself, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's what the yeah. name of that was? It was called Brain Sense. Like, <clears throat> mostly anybody from the South Side, Henry County, Fayetteville, even people in the city. You know, if you was around and on the scene 2009, 2008, shit like that, then you would know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Before, like, I was doing that type of shit when a lot of people who getting shot on right now 
was just starting doing what they was even doing. Like to be honest, now we're talking about it. Um, you know, Key he just dropped a um, yeah. uh, album like a couple of days ago. Yeah. I wish I still had the footage. But when I had the brain since clothing brand, mm -hmm. I actually we did a we did an interview like this. Me and him, like me and him, did an interview together. Like. He was riding in my car, me and him smoked out, riding around Buckhead, going to pizza shops, and I had somebody filming it type shit mm. way back. So imagine him dropping his album now, and then I could sh pull that footage out. Mm. You know what I mean? Pull, pull that footage out from 2009, when he was still fine as fuck, but it's just like, this is a whole nother key. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, I've always been on scene trying to do something, get some money, do what I want to do. And, you know, all those little things that I've been doing, like they lead up to just Euro does being Euro with doing what Euro does. But technically, Euro could still make a make shirts. Yeah, I can drop a shirt if I want. Like yeah. I, uh, one shirt or a whole brand if I want. It's just you know whatever I want to focus my time and efforts on at that moment. That yeah. that's that's what I'm gonna do. But hell yeah, if I drop a shirt, like when I had my um, Euro experience, those shirts showed up. Yeah. Yeah. How much time? How much time does it make to make these pieces, man? Oh, and that's the that, that's the million dollar you question. Mean, you brought, you bring them? Oh no, I ain't bringing right pieces. I mean, I, you know, I got my personal. You know, what I mean, I got a, like my Louis Vuitton. You know, what I mean, gun hooks that I keep on me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you know, I gotta have my matching. You know, card holder, the drip way. Okay, so that is Louis Vuitton. Yeah, the Louis, the real. Right. You know what I mean? Not the fake shit. Not fake drip. But um, you know, um, keep that on me and. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, but what I was going to say uh, uh, the million dollar question is like how long does it take you know to make the pieces in I never time myself because like it originated me starting doing the pieces came from me wanting something and I just make it so I don't think hey how much time do it take I just make it you know what I mean and like a lot of people who um, a lot of people who asked, they asked, how long does it take to make one lighter holder? But I do it in a, like a, a Henry Ford um, production line type of assembly line type of thing. You know what I mean? I, I may make 20 or 25, but I'm taking them all through the same steps at the same times. So they're all getting cut at the same time. They're all getting painted at the same time. They're all getting sewn at the same time. And then they move on to the next step. Mm. What's, your favorite, what's your favorite city you've been to? My favorite city? Mm -hmm. I'm really in love with New York right now. You like New York? So when did um, you been to New York? Um, I was actually um, there for Fashion Week. Me and my boy Loner, actually, we went out there. Shout out to um, Loner. Shout out to Loner. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, shout Miserable Clothing, too. Okay. But, um, yeah, New York City was lit, man. They showed mad love. I love the vibe. It was definitely cold, but, like, you know, the shopping experiences are way crazy. You know what I mean? I'm super inspired every time I turn my head when I'm in New York. You know what I mean? That's one of my favorite cities, I guess you could say, in America. But I have a, a piece of my heart left in all three of the countries that I was in, in, um, in Europe, in Italy, France, and England. Like, all those places got a part of me, man, because they're so different, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I pride myself on being different and doing what's undone and what other people are doing. That's the only reason you want to see what I got going on, you know what I mean? Because if it was me doing what somebody else doing, why are you even seeing what I got going on? Right. And so I hope you listening to that, whoever, and applying that to whatever you got going on. Right. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, like New York is definitely my favorite, man. And then the, like, I can't wait to go back. And now that we talk about it, I might just go book a flight just to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that shit, New York's something what, else. What, what inspired you so the clothing? The like, it's like the, it's, it's the shopping experience. So it's not just go into a store and buy the clothes. It's like when you walk in, the smell, the lighting, what the people who sell them to you got on, like all of that is accounted for when you walk into these stores, you know what I mean? And just the whole aesthetic and general genetic makeup of these buildings and, and everything. And people don't appreciate that type of stuff, but me as a designer, like I'm eating all that up. You know what I'm saying? I'm eating it up. Yeah, I'm eating it up, man. When I'm saying, I'm like, God, dude, these folks snapping in here. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, woo, woo, woo. And he's just like, damn. And you see how it's so, like, the New York is so New York. It's like, I, I want to bring, like, the same thought pattern, thought process from New York and put it in Atlanta. But Atlanta, it's like, it had, the only way for it to do and be promising is for, it, like, 
you have to you have to do it in such a way because Atlanta's not ready for that. Number one, they're not ready. They want to be ready, but they're so not ready for it. But you have to do it in such a way where it's like dumbed down, where they can pick it up. You know what I mean? Like, like for instance, even when I was um, in New York, like I was instantly, I was there for New York Fashion Week, so there were a lot of pop up shops going on. But I was instantly inspired to do a pop up when I got back. Like from less than a month for me going to New York, I had a pop up shop in Atlanta, and it went dumb. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, so it's just it's just all 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 sorts of things, man. Like just the whole vibe, how how everything's connected, like the food, mm -hmm. everything. You know, mm -hmm. everything. The only thing I don't like about New York is the weed. I didn't get any good weed. I didn't get any good weed, bro. There was no good weed out there, bro. Huh? Who did? Who said? <laughs> no, the weed. No, the weed didn't get no good weed in New York, bro. Smoking on that, that mid. No, not the mid, but it wasn't the it wasn't the loudest yeah. or the loud, boy. Yeah. That's what I'm like. I ain't gonna lie. One dude, he did have some straight strains, but he was dried out, like you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, that shit was dried out. Yeah, the, the strands would have been hard. Yeah, but that, if it it would have been, could have been, was yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. What? Speaking of uh, speaking of weed, what's your favorite? Right now. right now, my favorite strand, my my used to be favorite, used to be his favorite strand was the Jack Hair, um, but right now I'm fucking with Dosey Doe, boy. Mm. And Dosey Doe and Gorilla Gorilla Glue number four is five. Gorilla Glue number four is five um, with a little purple in it, but the Dosey Doe I can smoke that all day, all day. I love the it's beautiful. The buds are beautiful themselves. It looks like if I describe it, it looks like mold wrapped in cobweb. Like the buds are damn near yeah. white. It has more purple and orange than green in it. Yeah. Yeah. So it is, you know, it just looks good. Smells amazing, like something you never smelled before. And then when you roll it up, like you smoke it, like it's not a harsh, super in your throat, like a gassy, like how gas is. But you getting just as hot. It's a smooth hit it. You you trying to hit it a little bit hard because you don't even know if you hit it hard enough. To, it's so smooth mm -hmm. for real. You know what I mean? And that's you know that's how Euro do. What you what you roll up in? Oh, backwoods, oh. preferably the honey, yellow pack. You know what I hate? Man, I hate when I'm in the gas station, I say, look, let me get a five. You know, and I don't even say let me get a five. I say, let me get a pack of them honey backwoods. Yeah. You know what I mean? First of all, I said pack. You yeah. know, but the Dell stop asking me, you want you want the one or the five pack? Well, the yellow honey, which I asked for honey, don't come in a single. Yeah. It only comes yeah. in a five yeah. pack. Yeah. And then they sometimes they want to stop and go get honey berry and honey bourbon. Like, if I wanted honey berry or honey bourbon, I would ask for that. I just asked for honey. Just get me the five yellows. Why'd you have to tell them for the yellow pack? Man, yellow pack, man. Yellow pack, me. <laughs> what the first time you smoked? You remember the first time you smoked? First time I smoked, um, the first time I smoked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it was the first time I smoked. The first time I smoked, I think it was, yeah, it was with one of my homeboys back, way back in the day. He was my best friend at the time. Um, his name is Malcolm, if you guys know him. He, he he had a clothing brand, actually, called Lifted. Is it high school? I might have been in middle school, going to high school. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was doing what I, you know, that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was doing what I wanted to do. Yeah. And, um, um, but yeah, like I think it was then, like we had smoked like, and his dad career. We had linked up one day, I think, in the summertime. Mm -hmm. His dad went home with some little, you know, little kid shit. Yeah. And just smoked. And he actually, bro, like, we was high as fuck, bro. I don't eat McDonald's this day, but bro stole the car. Like, he had no license. We drove down the street to the McDonald's, high as fuck. Went to the McDonald's, ordered crazy shit. You know what I mean? Crazy shit. But, yeah, that was the first time. Okay. But, yeah. I was smoking weed back when. If you told somebody that you smoke weed, they didn't even want to hang out with you. You remember that? Yeah, I don't know. You remember like you, you, you know what I'm saying when when they like before before Cushion Orange Juice came out because once Cushion Orange Juice came out, everybody thought they was you know I don't know I want to smoke, but no nah, man I was smoking when if you, like you tell somebody you smoke they're like you know what I'm saying like. You, you that. drugs, so like, you know what I'm saying, like, you know. What I mean? That shit definitely coming in something now. Yeah, like, Thank fuck. And it's like, I can still do the same thing that I've been doing, handle this business. Like, I'm the weed, don't stop me from working spokesperson, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like. Does it help you, uh, does it help you when it comes to work, you feel? It does, but it can, if you, it's just a mind thing. It's a mind thing, bro. You can do whatever you want to do. True. Let the True. weed do what it do. I, I cocktail up sometimes. You know what I mean? I, you know, I cocktail up, 
I do the weed with a little bit, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, um, but you know, just so you stay focused. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah, got to man. Mm-hmm. Easy to get off focus, get behind on work and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you can't let the weed work you. You got to work the weed. You know right. what I'm saying? All right. Yes, sir. I think female want to know, man. You all got a girl, man. Honey, you said the girls don't know if I got one. Like so. I do not have a girlfriend. <laughs> What do you not have a girlfriend? Right? You feel like you feel like you, you feel like you feel like you should get the money and then get the girl up. Get the girl. Up. I wish I could have a, a, a significant other before I get rich. I wish I could. So I ain't gotta be just fucking everybody that I don't trust because you fucking with me because you know I'm rich. I'd rather have somebody who fuck with me because it's your role. You know what I mean? Not the money. But it's just like the money coming so fast now. Along with the women, it's like, damn, like, don't trust you, don't trust you, you know what I mean? So you feel like niggas with real money can find somebody that want them for them? Like, you feel like, um, you know, big niggas like that? Like, like if, if you have some real paper, man, like, it's gonna be a whole come from everywhere, man. Cause you know, at the end of the day, girls don't want to accept it or not, but like, you know what I mean? What they don't they don't want to admit it, but they want to live the life as far as it's the truth. Like gods are meant to be providers. You know what I'm saying? Like they try to act all day like they in a hole or just fuck with the nigga because he got this. But no, nah, bitch, you, you are because you're not fucking with a nigga who don't have that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like girl, women are looking for someone who provides no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like so. I feel like there's always gonna be an aspect of what you got and why somebody like you. Right. You know, you know what I mean. Like, why, why are these girls like you, man? Like, and yeah, it, it probably is a little bit harder when, when you have more paper and a lot of you know looks and stuff like that. You try to find somebody who wants you for you. But I feel like if you're not looking for it, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. it might just fall in your lap one day. You can yeah. see, you can see, you can see what's going on. Me personally, I can read people. Yeah. I know what's going on. I feel like you can find. I feel like you can find somebody that ain't the same as you, right? They have the same paper. Yeah, and see, then it's not even, you don't have no doubt about it. It's no question. Because if you have, excuse me, sweetheart, if you have enough, as much money as I'm having, it ain't no question to me uh, if you fuck with me because I got some paper. Because I'm not, like, yeah, yeah. like if I gave you all my money, you would double up. But you don't, you got just as much money I got. So, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And, and, and speaking of that, it, it's just interesting because that you mentioned that because it's like, you know, we we all know girls don't like no broke niggas, man. Yeah. We all know that. But do the ladies know that niggas don't like no broke hoes? I don't think they know that. I think they think the looks, man. I think they think the looks can get them through. Listen, baby, get like, them in now, you didn't have to do nothing. I mean, all the buying the body parts and shit. Yeah, you had to do something for that. But you didn't have to do nothing to be born. You didn't ask to be born. That's just how you look. You know what I'm saying? That's just how you look. That's just, I, the sky's blue. That's just what's going on. So if you think that you, I, I feel like there's a false sense of deserving. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, you, like ladies feel like because I look like this, I'm supposed to get this. For what? I think it's, I think it's <laughs> niggas' fault though, because. They yeah, be gassing, they be gassing a lot of niggas do be gassing up, and it's a lot of niggas who shouldn't have no money who got some money. You know what I mean? It's a lot of money, and they out here just fucking it up. Yeah, like they they burning up. They they burning up with hoes just and letting hoes think that they supposed to just show up and just get Disney World no matter where you at. And, And you know what I mean? In my eyes, since like I was the guy, like I. You know, like I said before earlier, every day I accept, you know what I mean? So there was a time where I wasn't getting the looks. It was a time I wasn't getting the money like how I'm getting. It was certain girls, like for instance, who, pictures I used to like way back when, all like raping my page now. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, for me, when I'm dealing with girls, it's like, you like, don't come to me thinking you deserve anything. Because you like, I didn't have I had too many blue checks in my DM. Like, like, like. My my thing is like every all, all women who I ever dealt with know if you with your own, it should be lit. You know what I'm saying? You don't even really have to think about nothing. If we doing this, that's what we doing. But it's getting to a point where 
You know what I mean? Even even some of my homies know, like, you know, I, I buy and the thing that's the that's the that's the caveat about it. I buy my homies food, I buy my homies drinks, you know what I mean? If we out and that's what I'm on today, buying people shit, and that's what we on today. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean, so don't don't feel no type of way because you might be getting it as a female. Cause I do the same thing for my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel so like at the same time, I don't feel like when when girls wanna go out, like it's just a lot of girls feel like if they go out, they they not supposed to like pay for nothing. Like no, they not they not for nothing to pay for nothing. And the thing is, I'm not asking you to pay for nothing. I'm not. I'm usually paying for shit. But let's say one day I do leave my wallet at home. Yeah. Then well, are we fucked up for the day. <laughs> what are we fucked yeah, up? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? We are we are we. I'm, I gotta take you back home now because I left my wallet at home today. Cause we cause, cause and another thing is. For me, it's just like how we was mentioning if I find a girl on my level and shit. It's like we know I'm doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? You know, if you follow me, you watch my lifestyle. I'm eating here, I'm going here, I'm doing this, I'm wearing that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, you know that before you even get to the part about us going out. You knew that already. So when we go out, show me what you got going on. Cause yeah. we know I'm doing what I'm supposed display. to, you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, you, I'm already red. My cards is on the table, bitch. You know that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like my car is on the table, like you already know if you tip me with the all oh, of my shit at home, you already know I'm gonna take care of the shit. Yeah. But I don't know that about you. Yeah. And to be real with you, if if I I can't fuck with nobody who not on that. Yeah. So you Cause why why should I be like man? She already know what he's saying. They should already know. And what no, no, and we know they ain't broke now, so it ain't nothing about the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. we, so they should, they should know what, what level they need to be on. They didn't know what level you be on. See, one they thing, one say, thing, JT, right. you, I think you need to keep this one right here. A lot of girls, I'm, I'm gonna give these ladies a tip. This is just one type of thing. I think it was like a meme going on lately about. Uh, it was a meme going on lately about instead of like for. Uh, I think they put up, instead of guys sending a drink to the girl, send them like a 10 piece wing or something like that when you're in the club type shit, ooh, black girl, something like that, ooh, okay, whatever, that's cool. But I think that, ladies, try this next time you go on a date with a dude. I think that if when girls go on the first date, if they pay for their own food, listen, if they pay for their own food on the first date, I guarantee you there will be a second, third, fourth, and fifth date. And I bet you, majority of them, bro, ain't gonna even let you touch your wallet. Just because you did something different than all the other hoes do. Because every time I meet a girl for the first time and we out doing whatever, they automatically feel like I'm just supposed to woo woo Even if you're trying to see what I got going on, like, you stop me, I, it's always something I could be doing, baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they feel as though, like, first time you meet, guy just supposed to pay for whatever. That's with, with guys and girls knowing that's how girls think. How about you show boss up and show something different? You know, be a little different, like, cause I could have been already, we, we getting drunk, woo woo, and I'm already about to pay the tab, and I'm already knowing that in my head, but imagine you come out with, oh no, I got me. You know what I'm saying, I got me. How player is that? How player is that? Tell me it's not player. Yeah. And if you, 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 you don't have nothing to say to me, if you're telling me that ain't player. And if you can't do that, then that's your situation. You know what I'm saying? You not a boss bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's your situation when you can't do that, then cool. But I'm just saying, if y'all on some real player shit, because otherwise, if the nigga pay for the shit and just pay for the shit and 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 pay for the shit, then what? He just gonna keep paying for the shit going on side. When is the whole ever going? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then especially like, my, my thing is, like, I don't mind, you know, I spend the money. I spend it on hoes. I didn't, the reason I can say this shit is because I've paid for the shit and paid for the shit and paid for the shit before. You know what I mean? That's why I can say that. But what I'm saying is, like, there's some girls out here, you can pay for the shit all day. And it can be simple as like a parking ticket. Like, not even a parking ticket, but you just trying to leave from where we at. And you asking for that. Yeah. How did I just pay for everything? You ain't even, you ain't even, you can't even get that. You can't get the $4 to get out of Atlanta Station. <laughs> but we just had, we just went up wherever we was at. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, how does that work? Do you, now, do you, now do you deserve to be able to even go out with me and my gang? We out here going up like this, and you can't even get yourself out your shit. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, do you deserve to go out? That's not cool. And I feel like I'm in a position to talk like this because hoes is fucking with me now and they wasn't fucking with me before. And I can call them out on that bullshit. Yeah, they get their own money, man. They trying to come around and get saved. Yeah. You know what it is. I ain't you got know. no cape on. <laughs> 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 you already no got cape. a cape. I ain't got no cape. So what, what's next for you, man? What's next, man? I'm just making shit, mm -hmm. teaching people shit. I'm going up, bro. Mm, about your teaching. Yeah. Damn, we can get into a whole other subject. We got so much time in the interview, man. Yeah. yeah. We can go into the Bitcoin. Yeah. yeah, we can go into the Bitcoin. We can go into what the... You, what you had going on? You, you, you being into... Um, not cryptocurrency? Yeah, cryptocurrency. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency yeah. is cool. As everybody who knows about cryptocurrency may know by now, mm -hmm. like, you know, it took a plummet. It wasn't as jumping as it was when there was a huge bubble where everybody just wanted to be crypto, 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 but it's definitely money to be made all day. Yeah. Even if it's day trading. Mm -hmm. Even if it's day trading, man. Yeah. yeah. So you had, you just had some cryptocurrency classes? Oh yeah, I had, definitely yeah, had some seminars, some courses where I was teaching people, you know, the ins and outs, how to buy, sell, trade, how to properly open an account, you know, get some money. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. And, and that's one thing about me, I'm always on the hunt to learn, but I'm also like, if I can teach when I can, I like to. But you, we all know that the game is to be sold, not told. Not told, yeah. That's what make people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You wish you, you wish you could just tell them. Yeah, I wish I could just tell yeah. you, but then what? Yeah, you can get it like that. All right. But I just told these hoes some game, though. Know? Oh, yeah, that was yeah. some free juice That's right there. Listen, I'm telling y'all ladies, next time you go on your first date, <laughs> I tell you, if you pay for your own food, especially when he already trying to pay for it, I bet you he will never let you touch your wallet for the next three times. Mm -hmm. I promise you. I just promise, because it's something different. He gonna remember you. Same thing like, hey, another thing. Let me tell you some player shit. If you just want a nigga to remember you, this one girl used to do this to me. Every time we went out to eat, the like when the waitress bring the drinks, she taking my straw out and putting it in my drink for me. Hmm. Just on some just little, just some. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah. And I keep it playing. I be doing that shit for whole too. They be going crazy. Oh yeah, so, so, oh yeah, so oh yeah, yeah. So there's this thing like every time I'm doing, and see the thing like okay, Euro. This is gonna tie a little bit, bit back into what Euro does is like I'm Euro and I do stuff like I make these designer pieces. I go eat good places. I do, I just do what I want to do. It's, it's just so happened that the collection of the things that I do are cool and interesting. You know what I mean? And a lot of people ask me about what I'm doing a lot of the time. So rather than me answer every DM and email, I'm thinking about starting a, a, like a way where you can subscribe to my life. And I hate to say it like that, but, but like basically you can pay a small fee, monthly fee, five ninety nine. where like, okay, for instance, I'm always riding in my car listening to music. People always asking me what you listen to. So you pay this five ninety nine a month and it's going to come with two playlists of what I'm listening to that month. I'm always going out to eat. People ask me what you eating. And it's going to give you a list of five new spots you can try. Oh, you know, what you want to eat. Awesome. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just like different clothes that I buy and, you know, like different things that I do. People always are asking me, where is this? And, you know, there'll be like a little different thing. So what, what I'm thinking about, it's, it's, it's still in the thought process, uh, but it's pretty much probably going to be in between five and ten bucks. When you can pay monthly and pretty much you'll be able to just like know what, what the shit I do. All the cool shit that I do, you'll just be able to know about it. So if there's an event that I'm planning on going to that month and you know what I mean, so and forth so forth, you'll be up to date. So you can be in the loop without being in the loop. So basically like a personal blog. Kinda of like a personal blog, but you find out about it before I do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Versus yeah. you having to wait to get to the blog, wait to go to the blog. Yeah. It's gonna you're already gonna have this at your Yeah. You know what I mean, leisure and discretion, you know what I mean? You can just go ahead and grab. Okay. Uh, social okay. media, man, you know, it's Euro does the little at Amphistan, whatever it is, um, Euro, E-U-R-O-D-O-E-S, Euro like the currency, remember that. Uh, my website is www.eurodoes.it, yes, .it, I-T. Um, it's an Italian domain name, um, and you know, Euro does it. 